Hi, welcome to T's Journey. My name is Tanya and this is my journey. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell notification. I want to thank all my subscribers for following me and staying with me. Um, but today, but continue to like and share. Today I'm making dinner for Rick, uh, crab, a vegan crab cake. Um, cover your ears, Rick. I don't want him to hear the other surprise. And a creamy, creamy vegan pasta salad. Also, I'm gonna okay. Also, I'm gonna make like I said the crab cakes, the oatmeal raisin, I mean eight oatmeal raisin cookies. So you can watch as I make make everything. I will post the ingredients um, as you know as I go. But I already made my oat milk. Well, it's, it's cashew milk. I made my cashew milk for my um, dishes, so stay tuned. Okay, I got this recipe, these recipes from um, Healthy Steps, from uh, healthysteps.com. Um, I'll post a link in the um, description for you to follow if you would like to. In fact, I will post the, um, both of them. I got from, this one I got from Divas, uh, Divas Can Cook Vegan Style. And the oatmeal cookies I got from oatmeal cookies I got from Folks Over Knives. So I'll post all the ingredients and the links to some of these recipes. Okay, for the crab cakes, I got everything ready to um, put in a food processor. Like I said, it's, the, it's green jackfruit, the heart of palms. Um, I made my own Creole um, seasoning, the Creole seasoning. Obey. Oh, celery seed and it's going to be um the green onions we're going to cut the green onions salt and um all-purpose gluten-free flour which i have um used um we're going to put it all in the blender the mix to it get flaky then i'm going to put it in a bowl then have put the flour i am put everything but the flour in the water then i'm going to mix the flour and water together to give it like that you know how crab meat is and then I'm going to coat it with um, cornstarch starch, and flour again and then fry it. So you'll see how, as I mix it all together. <laughs> And this is how it looks once it's been chopped. Now I'm gonna put it in the bowl with the flour and mix it there together and make patties. But smells good and this is how it looks.
Okay, I'm gonna start making the vegan mayo, which is a one cup of water, a cup of cashews, and a half a cup of non-dairy milk, which is the cashew milk I made earlier, two tablespoons of cornstarch, one tablespoon of fresh lemon juice, a tea tablespoon of chopped onions, and one clove chopped, and then salt and pepper to taste. So stay tuned as I make it. until this thickens up and then we're going to put it in the freezer to speed up the cooling process uh, while I'm cooking the, um, the patties. That's what I'm doing and in the meantime I'm going to get the ingredients ready for the rest of it. Um, so. Okay, I'm gonna start making the crab cakes. I'm gonna see if I can tilt it downward so you can see how I'm gonna make the crab cakes and and fry it in that pan. So been warming it up. That was a mess. That's why I don't like dealing with food with my hands. So I wash my hands. Rick had to go rinse it off and the cakes are cooking and I'm about to make the, the pasta salad. This is all ingredients while Rick is outside. I can talk more freely without him knowing what's going to be a surprise. And he likes macaroni salad, but he, since we've been vegan, he didn't think he could ever, he would, would never eat it. But I learned how to make vegan mayonnaise. That's what the white stuff was in the pot. Mm 
this is my own Italian sauce I made, seasoning I made. Okay, I'm finished dinner. I'm hoping Rick will like the surprise I got him. Uh, this is how I'm going to turn around and let you see how the crab cakes look. Right now, look at these are the crab cakes. And that was made with jackfruit and heart of palm with, with um, seafood to um, obey and all that stuff to give it the flavoring. So I'm going to plate it and show you when we finish. Um, so stay tuned. Voila, that is the finished product. Crab cakes and pasta salad with vegan uh, mayonnaise that I had to cook and I have some in the refrigerator left over. I think Rick would like 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 this. Rick, dinner's ready. So stay tuned. We're going to have oatmeal cookies for um, dessert. I already did a video with that, so I don't have to do another video. Till the next time, this is... Tease journey. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell notification. And again, I thank all my subscribers. And share, share, share. Make any comments you feel about this recipe too. I will post it below.